All right, in today's video, I'm gonna cover integrating your Facebook lead form with other CRM tools and also setting up email notifications when someone submits the form. If you don't go through this step and if you don't set up an email notification, your Facebook ads will collect leads, but you won't actually know it unless you're going in and checking frequently and you won't be getting the leads in real time. It basically just shows that leads have been collected and then you need to download those separately out of the Facebook ads manager. And that's uh, not very easy to remember and not the easiest process to go through if you're getting a lot of leads on a regular basis. So we're gonna start here, which is in your Facebook page publishing tools. We've been here before. You're gonna to go to your Facebook page that you're managing and then you're gonna go up here to publishing tools. You're gonna to click this link and then you're gonna go down to the lead ads section. And before we were working the draft forms library, and then these are your existing forms, and I'm gonna to go to leads setup. Now when you're in leads setup, it says set up a CRM so you can get your leads delivered instantly. Without a CRM, you'll need to regularly download a CSV to see new leads. Bummer, that would totally suck. So essentially what they're doing is they're allowing you to search for CRM providers here, and it says, You'll need an existing CRM, obviously. If you don't have one, visit the CRM, CRM integrations page to see examples, which I'll show you in a second, and uh, to see which ones are supported. So first up, find your CRM using the search box. We're gonna do that here in a second. This is the search box. Second, connect to your CRM. So there are a few different ways. There are a few different options when it comes to connecting. The first one is connect from website. You need to set up the connection within your CRM, and those are just, they have direct integrations. So connect from website, and then this says connect, but this really means connect using Zapier. Zapier is a third-party integration platform that allows you to connect different services and send data back and forth. If you're not familiar with Zapier, I'd highly recommend you check it out. I'm gonna show you how it works here, uh, but it's worth uh, taking a look at. And then requesting support means that's not supported, and then requesting support means that Facebook will reach out to the CRM to request integration. And then we have manager leads. Uh, after connecting with CRM, uh, you can still download your leads. Um, however, you can uh, also edit connections or whatever. So, but the the managing leads is really done through the CRM. Um, is really done through the CRM, and we're in the lead setup tab down here. Blah, blah, blah. All right, cool. So we're going to start. Um, we're really going to go through the Zapier integration because Zapier is something that everybody can sign up for. It's a third-party service that is not a part of Facebook and it allows you to handle your lead data in a lot of different ways. And essentially what it does is it acts as a middleman, like a pipe between two different services. So if you're thinking about, um, you know, if you're thinking about the uh, uh, an electrical power plant, it's, it's not a pipe, but it's like the power cable running to your house. It's what connects two things. So you have your house, you have the power plant, you need something to connect the two, and you have uh, elect the electrical cabling. I'm not an electrician. Probably said something wrong there. All right, so uh, when we're talking about Zapier, I'm gonna go over to zapier.com. And I am already logged in. So I'm logged into my uh, I'm logged into my account. You'll wanna sign up for a Zapier account and you're gonna to wanna to log in before you start the Zapier integration because if you don't, what I've experienced is that, is that Facebook just kinda of hangs up and it doesn't really connect very quickly. Maybe it does if I waited longer, but I tried to do it just recently and it just like didn't load. So once I logged in, then it loaded right away. So go to zapier.com, create an account. Depending on the volume and how many things you wanna do, you may need to create a paid account. I think they start maybe at $10 a month, something like that. Uh, ours is $50 a month because we have quite a few different zaps. So I'm gonna head back over here to the CRM and I, I just wanna get email notifications. So if you're just starting, you probably just wanna get email notifications coming to your inbox when leads are generated. And so I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna type in Zapier. It's gonna show me the different options that are available through Zapier. You have email by Zapier, SMTP, webhooks, which is like a URL that sends data, SMS, RSS by Zapier. And then we have a couple other CRMs here. And actually, before I, I get into Zapier, I, I did want to show you the different CRMs that are available. So I clicked the CRMs tab from here, CRM integrations page, and I got to this guy. And this shows 27 pages of CRMs, and there's just a ton. However, what's important to note is that what, from what I saw, and I didn't go through too many of these, but all, all the major CRMs or all the CRMs that I'm familiar with, I uh, it's like connected through Zapier. So there's Zoho. You know, I'm familiar, we use Nutshell, so let's do Zoho. 
And so Zoho Social, Zoho Mail, so I'm gonna do Zoho CRM. This looks like there's a direct integration because it doesn't say connected through Zapier. If I do, oh, it says through Leeds Bridge, sorry. If I do um, Nutshell, then I'm gonna do this. This says through Zapier. If I do, um, the, I know Google Drive was in here. It says uh, connected through Zapier. So a lot of these are connected through Zapier. Now you also saw LeadsBridge. I'm not that familiar with LeadBridge, but um, it's some sort of automation software for managing leads. Um, so uh, if, if you need to check that out, then you would just go to leadsbridge.com and that will allow you to connect through like um, Zoho show LeadsBridge. So I'm gonna kill this and I'm gonna do the Zapier one and I'm gonna do uh, just email by Zapier. So I'm gonna hit this guy. So email by Zapier, blah, blah, blah. Hit connect. And so now what we're gonna see is there's an embedded form with Zapier loading and it's gonna allow me to set up the integration right here embedded within Facebook. Now you can actually also do this within Zapier by pulling in the forms, uh, but, but through the Zapier interface, but we're just gonna go here that the interface looks exactly the same when you're in Zapier. So basically what we're saying, Facebook, when a Facebook lead adds triggers and I need a premium Zapier subscription for this one specifically. So um, premium is gonna cost you some money I'm gonna try and pull that up right now, actually, real quick. Zapier Premium. Let's see if I can get the pricing. Premium features. Come on, pricing. Why isn't there ever pricing? All right. Zapier Premium pricing. Should have had this tab up before. All right, so Zapier premium pricing is, I believe that would be $20 per month. Uh, yeah, premium apps right here. So you do need to pay $20 per month, paid annually, 25 paid individually, 20 zaps, and then it's a premium app. So what you'll see is that when we're doing this integration, premium, it's a premium integration. So unfortunately you can't do it with the free one. If I said that earlier, I apologize. You need to pay 25 bucks a month, which is kind of a bummer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit, um, we're gonna hit next here, we're gonna hit continue. And now we're gonna select the Facebook lead ads account. And so right here, you'll see that there's two lead ads account. When I was kind of messing around earlier, I connected a second one. If you don't have an account here, you can do connect account. Now, if you don't need to do connect account, you can just double check that this works. I'm gonna do test right here, bam, bam, success. So this means that my Facebook account that I'm currently logged into, this is, well, when I, when I did connect an account, it attached the one that I'm currently logged into. Um, but if, if there's already one connected, then you can just test it even if you're not logged in. But when I did connect an account, it connected me, I can rename this. I will actually end up deleting it. But uh, this is the Paracore Facebook account. This is connected and it shows that it's working and great. All right, so that means that the Facebook account I'm in connects with the, um, the lead forms that I'm working with. And then I'm gonna do save and continue. And now we're gonna be selecting the page and then the lead form. So what I'll do is I'm gonna select which page I'm working on. And I selected the Paracord demo page. And then I'm gonna choose the form. And from our last video or one of the previous videos, I don't know if it was the last one, I'm gonna do Paracord demo. And this uh, is the form that we created when we created the lead form. So I'm gonna choose the page and then I'm gonna choose the form. And then it's gonna associate the form with the page. Now. What's important to remember is that this is, this is connecting to one form. This is not connecting to all forms. And so uh, this, if I select this, it's connecting to one. If I don't select it, so if I do clear current choice, then it's gonna pull in information from all forms. So it's important to know that I can select this, it's one form, if I don't select it, it's gonna pull in information from all forms. So you know, probably to be safe, you're gonna to wanna to pull it in from all forms. However, you could potentially run into some issues with what fields are being pulled in and your email notifications if you have different fields. So this is a little bit of an annoying part about running a lot of different lead forms. You may have to set up multiple zaps within the Zapier interface instead of doing a catch-all, which is what this looks like. So if you need to connect to a specific form because you have specific actions that are taken by one form, you'll need to log into Zapier and then do some work there. And I'll show you what the Zapier interface looks like uh, at the end of this video. Anyway, I'm gonna do continue right now. And then it says pick a sample. So this is brand new, so this is a brand new form. So I'm just gonna say uh, pull in samples, which basically means that we're pulling in like a fake lead because a lead hasn't been submitted. 
I'm gonna do continue. And then it's saying that we're gonna do an email. So you can see it's kind of progressing down here on the left. I'm gonna do continue. And then I'm gonna put in the email information. So I want this to go to adam at paracore.com. It can be a comma separated list of emails. So it might be hello at paracore.com. It'll go to uh, those two people limited to five. You can do a subject. So I'm gonna do Facebook lead. And that way when the email comes in, I know it's a Facebook lead, obviously. And then here I'm gonna pull in the, the email address. And I don't have a phone in that one, but let's see here. If you wanna add a custom field, then you would hit this guy and it shows you the different options available within the Facebook lead form. So email it pulled in automatically. I might do a full name right here. So this is dummy data for full name, test lead, uh, if I want the name. Or one thing that's nice is you can pull the name in right here and then all of your Facebook leads that come in don't roll up into one conversation thread or if you're using Google, um, Google email, it actually will uh, separate them out individually, which I personally like because if they roll into one, then it gets kind of annoying for me uh, to like click and open and filter out and try and figure out who's who. So I might do Facebook lead colon and then do the name here. And then when the lead comes in, I'll see the name and uh, it'll also create new email threads. And then in the body of the email, we're gonna have the email name and then whatever other data we wanna see. So if we would just want the email address and everything else in there, we'll do that. And then we have some advanced options, um, you know, doing an attachment, which I don't think we can do in this instance. I don't, I don't think we can do that in this instance, unless I'm a dummy, unless we can upload one here. I've never done that before, uh, but I don't know why, I guess, I don't know why you would necessarily. Give me just one second. Ah, this list is long. Yeah, I don't think you can do an attachment here. Uh, but anyway, so, uh, or do a from name if you want it to be like, hey, this email's coming from uh, Paracore. Or let's say, uh, let's say Facebook leads. Because this is going to, this is going to you, right? So the other option and alternative is to send an email to your customer. And in that case, it might be, hey, this is coming from Paracore. So if you want an email to go to your customer, it can come from here. Now you can also send one to yourself and to your customer. I'm gonna show you how to do that at the end of the video. But let's say that this is coming from Facebook going to us like we've been doing. This is Facebook leads, reply to, we don't need to reply to because we're not gonna reply to it. And then CC if we want, BCC you know, if you want, and then some other things uh, like force line breaks, which is a formatting thing. All right, so we have all of that. So setting up an outbound email. Now I'm done setting all that up. I'm gonna hit, uh, this says continue. And now we have test email. So this is the sample. If I say, I'm gonna send it to these people, this is gonna be the subject line and then body. And then I'm gonna do a test here. So send test to email by Zapier. Boom, I hit that guy, a test was sent. And then when I go to my inbox, I see Facebook lead, test lead, dummy data for full name. So that's the dummy data. It has me and hello right here. Email came through, email test, name test, and then to stop these emails. So if you don't get the email right away, then if you don't get the email right away, then um, then you probably wanna check your spam folder and add them to your whitelist because these emails do come through very quickly and they could potentially be going to spam, um, it's possible, um, but that's what the email looks like. And so now we have this setup done. I'm gonna hit the finish guy right here. I'm gonna move this into a folder for, I'm gonna move this into a folder which is Paracore leads uh, because that's what I do. And then we're gonna see it on the dashboard here. And so now when I'm looking in Zapier, this pulled me into my Zapier account. I see this guy right here, get emails with new Facebook lead ads. I'm gonna open this one. So you can see it says Facebook to this little email guy. We have other ones down here, which is Facebook, two more steps to nutshell. Nutshell going to campaign monitor, click funnels going to email. This is simple texting going to other stuff. So these are all of our uh, Zapier integrations. So I'm gonna hit this guy. And this is a little bit of a Zapier overview. But what you'll see is we have new lead coming in. And this is connected to Paracore's Facebook account. These are the options. I'm not gonna go through all the options because it kind of like makes you like reset them. But these are just the things we just went through. I might rename this to demo account Zap. Uh, uh, demo account 
uh, email notifications, right? And so what I said was that it's sending an outbound email to you, to the business owner or to your salesperson or whatever. If you wanna send an email then to your customer, you can add a step here. And now I'm gonna search for a step. And we're going to do email, email by Zapier. And we're gonna go through this same process, but instead of the email going to me, now I'm gonna choose a dynamic variable from the lead right here. So it says new lead. I'm gonna hit this down guy. We grab the email address. Boom, I set that in dynamically. And then I put this in, you know, thanks for your interest, right? And then I put in, you know, we'll contact you soon or whatever, right? And now we have an email, a third action going to the customer that submitted the form dynamically because we dropped in their email address here. And then, I mean, we can even say, you know, we asked for the full name. We didn't ask for first and last. So we can do, uh, you know, full name, comma, Adam Arkfield, you know, whatever, Joe Smith, comma, we'll contact you soon, Adam, or visit our website or whatever the case may be. So you go through these steps, uh, very similar options to what we looked at before. You hit continue, and then you would test this step, and it's gonna go to test at facebook.com, thanks for your interest, test lead. And then when you hit send test, it will then send the test. So that's how you can basically send email notifications after someone has submitted a form, and then quite honestly from here, this is a whole nother talking point, but you can keep adding steps Zapier is pretty impressive. You can do paths and filters and delays and formatting, but you can now push it into another CRM. You can hit up a Slack notification. We use simple text. You can do something in many chat. You can do an Asana task, active campaign. Now, once you have Zapier set up to pull in the leads that are coming from your Facebook ads, now you can do all of these different things based on your technology stack, which is pretty powerful. All right, so I think that covers pretty much everything with the technology, with the integrations piece of uh, the Facebook lead forms. The one area that I didn't spend a lot of time on because we don't use it ourselves is this leads bridge option. Uh, we, we use Zapier. Zapier is a little bit cheaper. Uh, I, in my opinion, is more well-known, has tons of integrations. Uh, this looks like it has some different, uh, uh, different features, but we, we don't use it, so I'm not gonna go, go into it in a lot of depth. Um, but if you use it, it's kind of the same thing where it's connecting different systems. So that is all for integrations and email notifications. Thank you for watching, and we will check you out in the next video. Thanks a lot.